All right, so you got Assassin's Creed Mirage, 10 things the game doesn't tell you. It's a great video. Let's see what this is about, man. Assassin's Creed Mirage is a really enjoyable throwback to a more straightforward type of Assassin's Creed game. True. And although it's not perfect or anything, it's got a lot of stuff going on that it doesn't necessarily say. Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, 10 things Assassin's Creed Mirage doesn't tell you. Now this is a game, like I said, it definitely shows you what it's trying to do. And I pretty well like it. I think it does a great job. Okay. I do think it definitely shows that it's using the Valhalla tech, kind of a middle ground, like Jake said, in his Before You Buy. I'd recommend that video for a bigger picture, but Assassin's Creed Mirage, honestly, like I said, good game. Let's get into some stuff that it doesn't just tell you right off. Starting off with number 10, chickens can be your allies and they can also be your enemies. Wait, what? There's a the usual bunch of environmental objects you can use against chickens? enemies in this game. There's hanging rocks, explosives, the usual, but perhaps the most dangerous of all is the caged chicken. Yeah, I, I didn't in a million years think that this would do anything, but after breaking a chicken cage by mistake, I saw it in action. Uh, the chickens just start attacking anyone in sight, I including you, to be fair. I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to be some reference I to Legend of Zelda's famously vengeful chickens or what, but I'm happy it's there. Unfortunately, releasing the chickens isn't usually all that helpful. They tend to get the attention of every guard, and that puts them on the alert, which from a sneaking around undetected perspective isn't that great. However, man, is it fun to see the chaos unfold. In no, Far Cry, not, you could release these them. elephants. But in Mirage, you're freeing chickens. They're they not want to peck quite at as me? effective as elephants, but I just didn't expect anything out of them at all. There's no indication whatsoever these things would attack. It's just something I stumbled on randomly, but every time I do it, I see something that I would just call funny as hell. <laughs> And number nine, oh what God. are the mysterious shards for? Every so often, you can find these guys wandering around Baghdad with a little symbol over their heads. They carry collectibles called mysterious shards. You assassinate them or pickpocket them, and the shards are yours. There aren't that many in this game. There's just 10 total, and fighting them isn't hard. As long as you're synchronizing viewpoints occasionally, you're going to get most of them marked. And the only ones that are easy to miss are found in towns on the top and bottom of the map outside of the city. You yeah. might have found one or two of these things already. And if you're wondering if it's worth the effort of hunting them all down, it's not like the Enigmas. Uh, the Enigmas are not worth your time. These collectibles are. I like. They give you something that is good in the end. Near the top okay. of the map is an oasis in the middle of the desert. There's a viewpoint nearby, so it's not too hard to miss or anything. You dive underwater, keep swimming down. You find a, a, another Esu temple. I think the swimming's good in this game, by the way. In this series. Inside, you find three items locked behind barriers. If you want to unlock them, oh, you got to yeah. spend five shards to get the armor, three for the sword, two for the knife. All this stuff is good, but by far the best thing you'll get here is the armor called Milliard's outfit. What makes yeah. this costume so powerful is the perk, uh, which makes it so when you air assassinate an enemy, it generates a shockwave that stuns everyone within 15 meters of the target. So you can just decimate entire groups of enemies without breaking a sweat. Just do an air kill and the guys nearby will stand around hey. in days where you pick them off one by one. It's especially great in that it's not gated in any way. Once you're in Baghdad and the open world is fully available, fire. you can run around, get the shards, and unlock this Alright, that looks fly, bro. Point. And number eight is the easiest and fastest way to make money. One thing you'll notice in Mirage is Those that in bands. contrast to the rest of the series, where you're getting showered with cash, this game's pretty stingy. Main missions rarely get you money. Chests Man, stingy don't like usually Squidward. contain a lot of cash, if any. So what's the best way to actually make the green? It's not from completing contracts, that's for sure. After a while, I felt I was losing money rather than gaining. And I yeah. wasn't skipping chests or anything. Maybe I'm just used to pickpocketing being completely worthless and unnecessary in previous Oh, not pickpocket all day long, so even I in real life. It. That was, as it turns out, stupid because people are carrying around a bunch of money. Pickpocketing in Mirage is by far the best way to get cash. Yep, I gotta the trick steal. here Lies is that you go steal. to the rich section of Baghdad, the area around the palace, better known as the Round City. You got more people. Hey, up in the rich area crowds, in this game, bro. Hey, everybody like Bruce steal, Wayne, bro. They it got it money on money, bro. Just hang around this place Give and me steal that. from everyone. This strategy has the added benefit of getting you a lot of tokens, too. These items, uh, which are useful for getting extra help in certain missions or 
calling in distractions up. from guards. Tokens are another resource you barely get any of normally, but if you pickpocket a lot, you're gonna have Give more me that. than you're ever gonna need. Give the me best that thing money. about all this is that if you think uh, the pickpocketing mini game is annoying, you yeah, can did, did y'all girls see that? Y'all didn't see it. Nice. Gameplay and turn on guaranteed pickpocketing. It'll skip the mini game every time. You can just rob people blind. I just rob people. Effort. That's After so fire. That, I can just get so much store, money. Hit the sell all. Nice. Buttons, let's go. There you go. You're rolling in Baghdad bucks. At number seven, there's a few skills you need to unlock ASAP. Uh, compared okay. to the massive skill trees of the previous Assassin's Creed games, the selection of skills in Mirage is, is actually humble. Uh, not as many choices to agonize over, but the yeah. amount of skill points it's you not get overwhelming. is also quite I will say that. Lower, it's not overwhelming so at you all. you got to be selective about what skill you actually want to invest in. Some of the skills are just way, way better than others, though. Extra Obviously. tool capacity one, two, and three, they're no-brainers. Get those first. <laughs> there's no reason to wait on them. Even if you don't think you're going to use tools all that much, it doesn't matter. Get them. They're they're cheap. Two skill points a pop. They greatly expand your loadout and abilities. Unlike the last three Creed games where sneaking was de-emphasized, you will use these tools in Mirage. They're game changers, and having the full set makes hey, the those rest blow of the darts game are fire, so much bro. easier as well as more fun. So just get these as soon as you can. I am all in on tools, so anything that makes those better is good. Uh, knife recovery, fantastic for obvious reasons, oh as God. is the ability to chain together assassinations. There's no hey, double bro, assassination I love the chain game. assassinations, so bro. Take out two guys I love that together, so much, bro. Honestly. You need a chain assassination skill. Like, feel free to experiment. This game lets you reset your skill points at any time, so you can use different skills in different situations. The one downside to unlocking new tools in the skill tree is that these are only abilities that you can't refund, but honestly, there's mm. no reason to. Just get all the tools unlocked. I mean, as if soon they're as really possible. cheap, then you'll I do mean, fine. I wouldn't refund. And number six, them if where to anyway, get components? If there was an option. Uh, from my experience, this is the hardest thing to get in the game. The materials you need to upgrade tools uh, or components are, are a little rare. Like you get plenty of steel and leather from chests, but yeah. component parts much rarer. You can yeah, buy these things I'll, in stores, but stores. I'll be real, while, but when it comes to like upgrading weapons and stuff and like that in video games, sand. it could be if fun sometimes, but it depends on like the game. Then every store will have no components. Yes. Because, like, God of War, I, I like upgrading, like, the axe and stuff I like that. I think the merchants doing reset that. based on a timer, but I'm not sure. Basically, don't rely on buying them. They're not always going to be available. And that is a problem because the Bro, like you a scammer, like he sold me a pack of, of worms or something. In the game. Like, he the stole my money. The a level one tool and a level three tool is pretty significant. Like, they get way better from upgrading. Hey, bro, uh, that knife throw. everything I've tried. That little knife throw thing is, is the most body disintegrated, bro. Body hidden in the ground. Take these contracts uh, that show up on the board in the bureau. Each one gets you 45 component parts, which is a lot considering how many. That is a lot. Chests, I can't lie. Like, which is three or four at best. While doing these, check in at vendors' oven to see if their inventory. You're, just, you're is basically just stacking up loot. There you go. Basically. It's not the most exciting answer, but these things are necessary. Upgrading the assassin tools should be highest priority. Uh, How did you miss that blow dart? Them, but at least a few. Aim is crazy. These things are monstrous when fully upgraded. The knife level three makes dead bodies disappear. That's yep. insane. And that the jump insane. to level three and basically any other tool is about the same. And number five, smoke bombs are still extremely powerful. No, Bear, I mean it's a smoke fans. bomb. Of course the they are. Smoke bomb was always the I hey. button. Of the then you go in there and, and then you and then you powerful. kill one. Yeah, they're not quite as powerful hey. right from the start. The smoke dissipates hey. pretty quickly and the range isn't the best, but with a few upgrades, it's killer. Hey. If you want to quickly deal with the mysterious shard holders, the enigmatic sharders. I told you I had to be careful how I said that. Look how uh, you all just, deal with just, them, just throw hunked over. Y'all about to get killed, buddy. Throw a noisemaker, then some smoke. You don't want to fight Y'all literally about to get killed. It's over. Smoke oh, my him, God. Right? Smoke but that little knife thing that he has in his arm is crazy. I wouldn't recommend that for real life. I love it here. The only problem is that you'll need to upgrade it to at least level two so you can get oh, the easy. silent blast perk to make it so the smoke bomb doesn't make noise. <laughs> <laughs> if you have that, sneaking is more or less solved. Smoke bombs oh aren't that my good. God. <laughs> and number four, you can peek around corners. They just expect you to figure this one out on your own. But you, yeah, I mean, this is gonna. It kind of makes sense since, uh, since Assassin's Creed is like a stealth simple. game. You can peek around corners by equipping a weapon like throwing knives, standing near the corner of a wall and pressing L2. Now instead hey, of using oh aiming God. stance, you're hugging the corner and getting a good look at the enemies that are there. In tight spaces, it's extremely helpful because targeting enemies this way also marks them as if they were tagged by your bird. So even if you don't want
not to waste precious knives. It's yeah. still a useful mechanic that you can use to plan out your stealth approach in a congested be real, right? area. Seriously, At this the point, I was just going in and I was just, and I just killing him. I was just stabbing his neck. I mean, it's neck. frustrating. I, honestly, hey, th but this is me there, saying this like, for me. Yes, I'm going in, great. bro, and I'm stabbing his neck. I'm killing anybody, bro. I'm, I'm spinning everywhere, too. The I'm The game sorry. does not explain it, but eavesdropping is back. I guess they just expected everybody to remember it because they don't bother explaining what you're supposed to do. What's weird about it is just standing next to somebody isn't good enough to eavesdrop. You have to sit in a chair or a bench nearby. Then yeah. you can press the button to listen in on their conversation. That's the thing that I think is throwing people off. Nowhere is it explained that you're supposed to, you know, blend in. So bro, that man, that man's hearing is top tier, bro. What's supposed to be going on? In any other game, including in this series, that would probably be enough. But here you got to do it Assassin's Creed one style by sitting somewhere nearby. Maybe it sounds nice. stupid. So, and so they did you, really um, take a lot of points from like the original. I don't want to admit how long I just stood around wondering if the game was bugged or anything because I thought, you know, they stopped doing this in the first one, and the first one was a long bro, time ago. Bro, look at this, bro. Oh my, I'm getting and memories, two, bro. Now, I love a good stealth game, but sometimes you're just sitting in one place waiting for an enemy to stop. Thanks. For you. And that could I be agree. A, drag. a key part of stealth involves at least some waiting around, but I can't lie, bro. It, it comes to a point where I just go out and I'm just, I'm just stabbing people like in the neck. Me, I'm breaking elbows, bro. I'm eating fingers, bro. I'm doing cards, whatever I can, bro. Listen, stealth is cool and all, bro, but at the end of the day, I can't take it anymore, bro. It's like a meter that's building up in my body. Like, bro, once it hits the top, bro, I just got to go out and just stab people, bro. You're in a spot they're never going to hey, find Hey, I sound like you, a, but a mass murderer, but second it is Second after it is. agonizing second. Maybe I am. For the enemy alert okay, status. I swear to God, I'm joking. Normal. I'm playing. It's tedious. Mirage gives us a way to speed this up just by using the wait command. In Mirage, the only way to pass time is to wait while sitting on a bench. Yeah, you're literally just sitting there. Time jumps forward 12 hours, so if it's day, it becomes night. If it's night, it becomes day. You can do this while the enemy is on alert. If they don't know your location, you can sit down, jam that wait button, and then when you get control back, you're in the clear. It's small, but after a while, it's really starting to get sick of waiting around. And this little trick speeds it way up. Yeah. What's number one, though? And finally, at number one, thoroughly explore the order assassination missions for opportunities to unlock special assassinations. Since Unity, the Assassin's Creed series is toyed okay, with that boy these fly. big okay. assassination missions. And Mirage's take on this is probably some of the best in the series, actually. These missions give you multiple different ways to approach your objective. But one thing that's possible players might miss are these special cinematic assassinations marked with a oh skull symbol. Each okay. major target has at least one special assassination which can be unlocked by completing sub objectives uh -oh. in the environment to lure your target uh -oh. out or get past their defenses so you can uh -oh. take them out where some are more elaborate than others some are pretty easy to miss so yeah. be sure to thoroughly explore each mission to unlock these special assassinations because they're pretty satisfying when you trigger them and that's all for today leave us oh, a comment well, man. let us know shout out to uh to this guy before i think i've reacted to like one of his videos before but yeah shout out to him i'm definitely going to react to more videos uh, from his channel. Other than that, subscribe to the channel, like the video. See you guys later for the next time. I'm out. And peace.